Hi everyone, welcome to day 39 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn. Today is Tuesday the 10th of February 2022. Uh, the training for today has been an early morning rowing session, um, now followed by some hill, sand hill runs with burpees on each end, so a bit of a burpee ladder with sand uh, hills. So I didn't um, plan it too well because I think it's about 36 degrees and the sand's starting to burn my feet off, but um, yeah, it's been a good warm one. So that's the training. The lesson for today is that there's always a solution. Um, and this is a mindset that um, a lot of guys at the tactical response group always had or, or had to have almost to um, resolve different issues, but something that I've carried through um, and I really believe in as a mindset because what's the, the other side of it is that there's not a solution and we're going to give it up and you know, it's not going to work so that's very negative but from a tactical response group perspective so we went to we got called to all sorts of jobs that um, police didn't have an answer for or um, whether they're high risk or um, suicide type jobs or just things that there was literally no obvious solution and whether it be stopping a car or, or roping down to stop people from jumping off things or whatever it may be um, one job i remember in particular was we got called to a country town um, in Western Australia where this lady had been up there, police had been negotiating with her for, for eight or nine hours and she's up on a, a high ledge, uh, mezzanine type ledge, inside a big uh, warehouse type shed. Um, and she's she's got a boat anchor attached to a chain, she's swinging that around and says, so she's going to throw it at the, the police below, um, but she's also threatening to jump off and jump on her head and kill herself and these sort of things which um, policing type jobs unfortunately. So. We got called out there um, to our drive and got out there to have a look and we're getting information as we went and um, pretty much had a good idea of what was happening before we got there. Um, when we got there, there's one of the police girls was negotiating with her, the same girl I've been negotiating for um, all morning, afternoon, etc. It carried on for quite a while um, and it had just been going back and forward, um, round in circles almost. So myself and my partner, tactical response group operator, we were both there to try and find a way to resolve this um, safely and get this person down, um, female down safely without any injury. So, you know, there's obvious ways you can climb up and you can do things um, to try and grab people, but um, the, the big risk there is that they're going to hurt themselves, um, potentially you in the in the process, but if we're going to cause them to hurt themselves, it's going to be, um, it's going to be uh, pretty bad on us. So um, we're there for their safety. So basically, but. It didn't look like there was, no, there was no obvious answer, but we were there for about an hour and, and I was scouting around underneath the, le the mezzanine and looking for ways to put ladders up that she might not see, um, you know, hoping she'd maybe go to sleep up there and we could get up there and grab her or whatever, but never gave up. And between myself and my partner, we were discussing different ways and getting ropes ready. Um, we had ladders ready outside the shed, ready to go, and we were kind of going to come up with a good tactic that if the opportunity presented that we could get up there and get on top of her. Um, as it turns out, she, I came out from under the mezzanine level where she was up there holding her um, big boat anchor um, and she's having a go at everyone. She saw my partner across the room and she's abused him as though he's the devil, etc. cetera. Um, you know, she really didn't like him. Then she looked straight at me and she said, oh, you're a nice man. I'd like to come down and talk to you. And so I've immediately switched from how am I gonna get up there and grab her and tackle her and, and drag her down to, oh yeah, no problem, come down and have a chat. You know, we'll, we'll talk about it. And we got this rapport going and she, we put a ladder up and she climbed down and had a chat with me and I walked her over to the police car and away she went. But um, sometimes these things happen. For some reason she saw me and went, yep, he's the guy I want to speak to. Um, feel sorry for the cops that have been there nine hours already uh, negotiating. But um, the point of the story is that never giving up on a solution. So we can't, we don't just get there and go, oh, this isn't going to work because of this, this isn't going to work because of this. Sorry, we can't help you. It's uh, whether we're there for one hour, five hours, whatever, there's gonna be an opportunity and we're always looking at different angles and ways to do it. Um, I train a, a really good rowing girls crew um, down the beach, down this beach this morning actually, and then they they had some good races on the weekend um, where I was sweeping at the back of the boat, um, steering the boat for them and, and had some really good races. And then the final, when the, the big wind chop came up, we didn't have that good a race and it may have been just the lane that we're in, um, more choppy than other lanes or whatever, but 
we were expected to to finish better than we did so in my mind I was I was scratching debriefing trying to work out what what went well what didn't go well um, and why in that race we didn't perform um, you could easily say oh no problem we'll just go back to normal training more training more training more training um, but it wasn't that it was there's something that needs to be adjusted tested and adjusted um, so we went out last night in some serious uh, wind chop and we tried different rowing techniques, shortening up, different styles, etc. Um, didn't really work in the top. And then this morning we tried different sets of oars, so some longer, some shorter. Um, and we found a bit of a solution. But the the mindset again is that there's always a solution. So don't don't just rest on your laurels. We're not happy with getting um, fourth in a final as it was when we should have been top two in that case, um, if not top one. Um, so find the find the way, find the answer, and make it work. So that's the thought for today, is that the, have the mindset of there's always a solution. Don't give up, don't think, oh, there's not going to be a solution, we'll just carry on or something will happen or it'll sort itself out. There's always a solution. Stay curious, find the solution and make it work. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much.